Okay, okay, so this is a weird looking shoe. This is, this is, hmm. <laughs> the, the, yeah, these are something. These are, these are something. Oh, I got a little 3M in there, that's, that's cute. Hey, so what's going on people? For the first time in a really, really long time, I can't remember the last time, I think it was once when I first started, I actually had to remake the video. It's, I wonder what that last one was that I had to do that for. Can't really remember, can't really remember. But anyways, it happens, you know, which kind of sucks because uh, I have to do this all over again. But that's fine, that's fine. So I do have to say some things before we get into the video because it was, as you probably noticed, if this isn't your first time around here, I tend to just kind of talk a bit and sometimes I'm brainstorming as I'm saying things and stuff comes to mind and I'm like, oh man, hmm, what do you know? So one of the things that I realized when I was re, well, when I was doing this the first time through is that this is likely to be my last video that I create this, well, the last shoe review that I do because I have a box over there to deal with and yeah. But anyways, it's likely that this is going to be the last shoe video that I do. So that means that this channel is not going to have a lot going on because I've cleared out my backlog. So that's cool, right? But that means next week, the week of Christmas and stuff, there's probably not going to be anything happening. So that's not really a huge deal because I feel like a lot of people will be busy with their own lives doing whatever it is people do. You know, maybe you're celebrating, maybe you're just keeping to yourself. I don't know, whatever. It doesn't much matter to me. But the thing is, I'd rather it not be completely just left vacant, you know, during during that duration. So, as I mentioned in a past video, when uh, Splash I'm Drippy cashed in on that, link somewhere up there for that. If you are a person that makes videos or would like to make a video, send it my way. I will gladly throw it up here. There's seven days in the week, so that means I can take up to seven. Well, I mean, I guess I could do double uploads. I've done that before. But anyways, if you want to put your video over here and let some different eyes get on it, that's fine by me. Just send me the video. Tell me what you want for the description and all that crap. And then I'll make that happen. Now, also, given that I do have like the, the ads thing going on from time to time here, I'll make sure that those aren't on there. Because the thing is, if it's your video, like, why should I get any money out of that, right? That's, that's your thing. Also, it just, I mean, it, it just wouldn't seem right, you know, like morally or whatever. Past that, not too far past that, the subject of ads, right? So I, I was messing around in there the other day, just seeing what all the options were and all that good stuff. And it's like, they have non-skippable ads, which that sounds terrible. It honestly does. Maybe I would get more money out of those. I don't know. And but I haven't used that option, probably won't. And then they also have like the kind of ads that like, I guess happen in the middle of the video. Like supposedly, you know, talking to Bobby Sneakers world, you can like control that, but it's just crazy that like, I, I wouldn't want to be interrupted with an ad in the middle of a video. It just sounds a little rude, honestly. I guess it's not a whole lot different from a commercial if it's timed properly, but still, I mean, kind of takes you out of the moment, doesn't it? I don't know, maybe that's just me. But anywho, yes, the ads thing. I'll make sure not to put any ads on your videos if you would like your video here. And the whole thing about that is like, the way I see it, even if you've got a bunch of subscribers, you, I probably have at least one that you don't. So you, that person might see your stuff and be like, oh, this dude's all right. And then go on over there. You know, maybe you might be like, oh, I've heard it, never heard of Logan. I wonder if he's named after Wolverine. Maybe I'm gonna go subscribe to him and watch his videos and talk to him. You should, you totally should. And then you need to go do that, right? There will have been a link somewhere up there for whatever his most recent video is. I don't remember. But anyways, yeah, let me know if you wanna do that. It's fine by me. And that's kind of a standing offer, not just when I'm saying it, right? So hit me up, sliding on those DMs and all that as the kids say. Do they still say that? I'm old, I don't know what's hip. Anywho, so I believe that was everything I needed to say, right? So we're gonna go ahead and get on into what's in this box. So 
There you go, right there. It's a typical Yeezy Boost 350 box. And then down there on the side, it says Yishi, which is not quite the full name. I mean, really all they're missing is the L. They they couldn't couldn't get that in there, I guess. But anyways, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Yishiel, Yikhail, doesn't much matter, right? They've, they've had a couple that I haven't really been able to pronounce in the past. You know, well, there was one that was like kind of abbreviated true form or terraform. I'm not sure what that one was. Antlia, I guess, I assume that's right. I don't know. Anyways, obviously the shoes aren't in the box because they were already out. So this is what we're talking about right here. Give you a little close up look, close up look. Don't worry, you're, you're gonna get another one, it's fine. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is now review time on this right here. The Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Yekshiel colorway. That's right, the Yekshiel colorway. Man, so these, these shoes, these boosts, these 350s have been coming out like one after the other after the other. It's been like a barrage of them, you know what I'm saying? And like... They don't change a whole lot. They, you look at them, they're all very much the same. They've got, maybe they've got the strip, maybe they don't, maybe they've got the tap, maybe they don't. But at the end, it's all the same. It's like, it's like if you took El Generico and you took Sami Zayn, it's like, it's the same dude, right? One just has a mask. Spoiler alert. Right there, that's him. Anyways, so we're gonna get on into this, get on into these, uh, the bottom here, because that's where I like to start. So, across the bottom, across that outsole, nothing fancy about it. It's just blacked out like you would expect it to be on a, on a shoe like this, right? Because black just goes better with it. And so as you look in there, you've got the typical white behind it. you got the white over here too. And if you look in there, you can kind of see that, yes, you can kind of see it just a little bit in there. And not a whole lot of discoloration right there. Often it is. It's a little more visible right there because the light's all up in it. But when you're just staring at it with like without all the extra light, it just looks black all around. So that's a that's a good thing. So past that here, you've got the outside, right? The lateral side, I believe it's called. So I mean, for a second there, just look at all the stitching quality on there. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I mean. Look, that's that's how I feel. Kind of reminds me of like the those Game of Thrones, House of Targaryens, or whatever, because like those had some really good stitching too. Anyways, so let's talk about what we see here. So first up, starting from the bottom again, you've got this beige and black color that's dominating the lower section. It goes all the way through to the tip of the toe, almost, because this right here, you can kind of tell, it's a bit of a green and black which you also find on the back down there. It's kind of hard to tell, but that is green and black, which bleeds just a little bit over to this side. And then up at the top, that's kind of like a light blue. It looks kind of like a light purple, maybe maybe lavender. It looks, it looks very lavender when you look up close to it, lavender and black, but you know, with the way the camera is and all that, it's the color showing is not always the best. And then pass that over here. You've got a bit of red and a bit of that lavender again. And on the laces, a little bit of the 3M. So that's a nice touch. And then that lavender red combo kind of rides all the way down here. So pretty straightforward. And then you've got this here part where it's, you know, got that little see-through-ish thing. You can't see through it. It's kind of blacked out and I'm also black. So maybe that's why it doesn't show up. I'm not a hundred percent, but that's just my theory. So there's that. And then on the other side, everything's very plain on the other side, honestly, but it's not plain in a bad way. Personal opinion, of course, because you look at it and you pretty much just see the beige and you see the black and that's it. Minus, like I said, that little piece down there where it gets into a little bit of green. And then this area here, just a little blacked out blank area where there is none of those strap things like you would see on this pair. Let's pull out these two here. So quick comparison here between the things. So like I was saying with the stitching and all that, 
it's very visible on these how it looks you can just see everything so clearly which is one of the things i liked about these so there's a little side by side -ish kind of thing for you if you're curious which ones you like more or whatever here's the medial sides so again the stitching pattern on both of these is exactly the same it just it oh, i mean right around there it lo does look like it's different but that's only because the way they the way the coloring is it still both has the same vibe going on it just one shows it a little differently even with that same with that side you can tell it's the same thing it's just at first glance it looks a little different but overall I'm, I'm liking these they were a little weird out of the box maybe you caught that reaction but anyways and i think that covers the whole upper almost inside there kind of a light brownish color going on with the adidas yeezy section against some kind of a it's kind of a beigeish color kind of a pinkish color it's like a really really light pink going on in there so there's that now the other part that's important is sizing right i don't know how many videos i watched back in the olden days when i used to watch other people's like the more famous people videos or just when I was just casually watching things, looking for to see how things fit. And someone would pick up a shoe and be like, man, these are the greatest thing. You know, like, I love the way this upper looks, blah, blah, blah. You know, I remember when Scottie Pippen had these and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, but how does it fit, though? And then the review is over and I'm just like left with nothing other than that this dude likes that shoe because it was cool in eighth grade. That does nothing for me. Anywho, enough of my ranting. The sizing part or the sizing part let's talk about that right this right here true to size true to size i got a nine and a half i got a nine and a half of those ultra boost down there that is what works for me i will say that yes like some people will tell you these do fit a little snug it happens but the thing is if you wear them they stretch out just a bit and then it's a better fit you know that's all I can really say about that. You just got to take them out of the box, put them on the feet, walk around, and you're, you're good. Past that, the, the comfort of them, though, super cushiony down here. Super cushiony. It's more comfortable, cushion-wise, than the Ultra Boost, obviously, by a fair amount. Though I do prefer the Ultra Boost overall just because, for one, they're cheaper. Two, they come in more colors. Three, they're more accessible. Right? I mean, that's enough right there. It's, I just look at those and I'm like, man, those, that's the way to go. I do see a lot of 350s that are nice, don't get me wrong, and I own most of the ones that I like. But you got to call it what it is at the end of the day. It's just that 220, man, it's not, is it really worth it? Is it? I don't know. That's a question for you. Anyway, so yes, true to size on these. The comfort is pretty solid. And looking at these, I think these just have a good look. At some point in here, I'm going to try to slip in some on foot thing. I don't know if I'm going to have to put that at the end or if I'm going to be able to overlay it across this because I've been editing with Adobe Rush lately and that it it's a great program for like, you know, as far as when you're confined to a phone and all that, but it's kind of tedious in the sense of editing on there because you're confined to a phone and all that. But as far as features go, I mean, I don't really have a lot of complaints about it when it comes to video editing. And then, you know, when I get my stuff all set up again, I'll get back to the normal thing, be able to have more space to knock out things how I would generally do them. Until then, you're stuck with what I can give you. So, sorry about that, I suppose. Past that, I don't have anything else to say. I think I've worked in everything Set the 3M, talked about the uppers, talked about the, look, the comfort. So, and I told you guys that if you want to put some videos over here, put some videos over here. So that way, you know, the people are at least getting something out of the channel and they're not just left in the dark. So that is it for me. You guys and girls out there, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's very much night here, 7.44 p.m. of course. <sighs> Time to do some editing. Later.